Hello, I'm Sam Crow from CloudyStamp.com. Uh, welcome to YouTube Tuesday. Today um, we're going to be playing with, I'm going to be playing with Viva Paste um, with the Cloudy Stamp stencils. Um, you can use any sort of pattern stencil for this. Um, some of the flower stencils look nice. Uh, if I just quickly show you a few, um, I do it in different colourways as well. So this is um, obviously the zigzag stencil. Uh, and you can do it in different colours. Um, this was a clean-up sheet from this one that I did. I wasn't so keen on this one, but I know how to make it better next time. Um, but the clean-up sheet I liked, I liked more. Uh, the reason I think this one didn't work is because there's too much surface area there. You just want a hint of this colour coming through and it all will be explained in a minute. Um, this one I thought worked really well. So again, these are just quick, quick cards. All of them are quick cards. That, I say that they take me ages to design them, but <laughs> once you've got the once you've got the technique and, and the style, then they're really quick cards. So, you know, some of these have probably been done. You know, took hours putting them in. <laughs> so, and this is one uh, one of the first ones I did. Um, now, when you do this, I, I'll talk it through as you go along. It, it's kind of it looks gorgeous when you first take it off, and then paint always dulls down. So we'll talk about that as we go. So. I'm just going to get a couple of pieces of card. Today I'm going to use um, the zigzag stencil because I know it's my original and I just know I love the effect with that one. Um, and this, I um, can't remember the name of this one, but I know you'll all know what this one is. So you can use a mix of stencils in this. So I'm just going to get, uh, again, I'm using a uh, cloudy card. Um, I cut it in half. I just love this shape and size. It's just so pleasing to look at. So I'm just doing that again. I'm going to get some paper underneath just to protect Barbara's mat again. Right, so oh, it might be better to get black so that you can see what I'm doing actually because I put this black card under. Right, so we're using the uh, Viva Relief Paste um, and I'm using the these tools, Viva Decor tools, you get a set of three um, and, and they're really good tools. So literally just going to put stencil on. Look how clean the stencil is. Anyone who's been at my workshop will know that's not my stencil. I've just been in Barbara's uh, little uh, workspace again and nicked this from her. <laughs> it's a long time since I've worked with a spotless one. So, right, so you just get your paste. Now, I would say to you at home, uh, if you want to get this right, um, tape down your card on, on your craft mat tape down your stencil to hold it in place. Right, so there you go. So I'd get the card. You want a little gap at the top anyway, maybe to put sentiment on or something like that. So I'd just tape that onto there. Just need to just catch it, just to keep it still. And then um, put straight. And put the stencil on top. And just tape that onto the tape that you've just done. So that's all set out. There, so when you tape it down, you don't get any slip, okay? Um, oh, I've got a new I forgot I had a new one to play with. I'll just take this off, put that in the lid. <coughs> oh, it's nice when it's first new, isn't it? When you open this paste, just if you get some on the lid, just scrape it off, just put it in. You don't want to waste it. Don't need to waste it. And I'll be honest, I just always take this lid completely off because it just gets in the way otherwise. You've got um, a nice lid there that will uh, keep all your paste in position. So then just give it a little stir. Now this paste um, oh, is a really good uh, consistency. Um, and what I like especially about this normally is that if you just use this and don't do anything to it, it just looks really nice. It dries to a really nice colour. But then I thought a couple of weeks ago, I need to actually start colouring it a little bit because I always just leave it white. So I wanted to do something a bit different. So this is when I came up with this little technique of mine. So when you're using this paste, uh, don't leave the lid off too long because it, it does dry in the air, obviously, otherwise it'd never dry on your card. Uh, it's... <coughs> Excuse me. It's water-based, so it easily dries, uh, easily cleans off anything, um, and it's just easy to work with. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put more than I need on top here, and I'm just going to drag it down to the bottom of the stencil. 
so you don't want to mess too much you're just dragging it into the spaces there I've gone to the bottom there's a few little gaps but that's okay I'm going to put the rest of the paste back in the pot and then <clears throat> excuse me and then I'm going to bring it back off so basically you put it on you take it off and what we're looking for you're not putting any pressure on here you're just um just gently uh, scraping it back and you want it sort of to the height of the the stencil if you don't want it to slip so You don't have to be, you know, too precious about it, though. Um, this, this is just a guideline, what I'm telling you, really, of how to use it. Um, so then we don't want it slipping underneath. So just really, really gently grab the bottom, just pull it up to take it off. Right, but I'm not taking it off yet, am I? I nearly did. But So if you were taking it off, that's how you do it. You just very gradually take it from the bottom. But I'm going to do something else on top of it, so... <clears throat> but just this on its own it does look nice and there's so many different ways that you can colour it as well so I'll show you some more at another time so I'm going to get some paints out now um, I don't know where to go should we go bright or yellow and black or uh... so I'm going to use a bit of red I'm going to go a bit um, mad I'm going to use yellow, red and black Okay, the black is the highlighter Give it a little shake. Now the red sea darker colour, so I'm going to put that on first. I'm just putting a bit in the middle there, okay? I'm going to put a little bit of yellow either side. Once you've done this a few times, you'll kind of get to know where you want the colours and what you're going to do with them. And then I want a little bit of black. I'll just give that a little shake. I thought I'd give them all a shake. I've just dabbed that out, I think. If you get, if obviously they've got oil in them, <clears throat> otherwise you'd never be able to write with them and that. So I'm just going to take that oil back off because you don't really want that on your project. It's not a major problem, but you know. All right. I'm just putting a little dab of black on either one. And this is one of those projects where you see what you get when you lift up the stencil. But when you've done it a few times, like I say, you can kind of decide what you want in, to a certain extent. So I'm just dragging this down. I'm getting a bit of the black, a bit of the yellow, a bit of the red. Well, so far, I'm liking that. But see this area here um, where it, it's, it's smudging too much? We don't want that. So then we're going to take this off. I'm going to start again. I'll just take that off there. I'm going to start again. So I'm going to just put a little bit of yellow red down there. A bit of yellow over here. And then I'm going to bring the black in at the end this time. Get messy. So. Don't want clumps like that unless that's the look you're going for. But for me, I want the colour to mix. So you can bring in as much paint as you want. And I know you've all got plenty because you've all got stacks of paint pots sat in your craft room that you don't get out very often. We're all the same. Just get them out and use them. These All these paints last for ages. You get a lot of use out of them. And you don't want them to dry up. So just have a little play and get them out. Right, so this is looking, looking a bit higgledy-piggledy, but it won't in a minute, she says. <laughs> a bit black there. A bit black coming across the red because that's a, a big chunk of red there. So I'm literally, I'm just dragging it in. Just very gently with the side of my spatula. Just dragging it up. I'm going to have a little peep before I show you. Yes, that's exactly what I want. I'm not going to put that down. I'll just take that off there. I'll put on a piece of card for now. Take this off here. There you go, this is what we're looking for. Isn't that gorgeous? I think it's gorgeous. So, so that was like the first one I did and I thought, ooh, I like that. So what's it like with a flower or a frame or whatever? So I'll do another one um, and show you. 
So this time I'm going to go different colours. I'll get another piece of card. Now with this you could just have um, a card in one when you pull that off. That's just a card. Out. On here I put a few sentiments, you know, um, the little sticker sen sentiments look good on there. And you kind of finished off really, you just mount it. So let's have another go. Just because I like doing it really. I always do two. Two of everything. <laughs> Right. You don't want to put any colour in there, okay? So I'm just wiping this off. I'm going to wash off my hands. If you put colour in here, the whole pot will end up that colour. Okay, so you keep it as clean as you can. So you get this, tape it down again. Tape this down. And also if it's taped down, you've got like, like a lid, you could lift it up if you want a little peek underneath to see if your colours are working and if they're not you can just bring another colour in um, and, and put it on top or stripe it or whatever so so that tip sticks to that tip so then we're going to get this out again and, and the fact that I've got red in this pot you have to ignore that because I'm telling you not to put any colour in the pot <laughs> but this is my pot so it doesn't matter I'm just putting it on again putting it on thicker than it needs to be because that way it seeps into the, the rim of the stencil and not underneath. If you keep putting a bit more and a bit more and a bit more and you start messing, it all goes horribly wrong. So just get more than you need because you're going to take it back off anyway. Just gently drag it across. Put the rest back in the pot. So I've put it on, I'm taking it off. I've got a little gap here. That's going to be filled in when I take it off, okay? So this time let's go, um, let's try blues. I might do blues with a, a hint of pink or a hint of red. Oh, <laughs> don't drop your paint on top of it, okay? Because it doesn't damage that, but your paint does look a mess. <laughs> right, so I'll quickly get my spatula, I'll just pull that back out and that's fine. No harm done, okay? So. I'll use the, I'll start with the light blue and then I'm going to get bring in so this is like smurf and this is glass blue oh I love glass blue it's a gorgeous color um, and this is southern skies um, so I'll use these first sometimes it's see if you just use like monotone um, it, it can look gorgeous as well like like this blue one here I, I just love the look of that, just with the light and the dark blue. It's just a really good mix. And you could do that with any colour as well, so. It's very nice. So. Right, so I've got my two blues. I'm going to drag down the pale one. I'm going to drag the, the other one into it, and I'm going to drag it across there, drag it across there. And can you see how the paint, the dark, light and the dark, are just start to mix a little bit? In a minute, it'll start getting too mottled. So I'm going to take, I'm going to add some more of the dark. I'm going to put, I'm putting it on the side of the stencil. And then I'm, I'm lifting it up to the blue there. Okay. So this is going quite well. So let's bring another blue in for a bit of a mix. Now, because I tend to stroke off to the to the left more naturally you don't want every, every you don't want it all going the same way kind of thing you don't want higgledy piggledy but i'm just trying to sort of make it a little bit different throughout so i'm turning this upside down i'm going to come back down this way okay and that way you get like the darker color blending in from the bottom as well so i'm just going to have a little peep at this See, this is what you can do. You can have a little peep and then you can put it back down if you're not happy with the result. Mm -hmm. You can see where I dropped the paint, but that doesn't really matter. I'm tempted to leave this, but I'm tempted also to try a bit, go a bit mad. So I'll just have another little peep. A bit dying to see it, Anya. <laughs> yeah, it looks nice. I think it could do with a little something. So let's just bring in a little bit of green. 
So I change my mind all the time as I'm doing things because whatever you do now, you see the next step anyway, don't you? You don't have to stick to what you had in the beginning in your head. You don't have to stick to that with anything if, if you see that it might look diff better with something else done to it, like in colours. So there, I'm going to leave that now. It's done. Yep, I'm glad I did that. So here you go. This is what we've got. Take this off. And these, if you get any on the edges like I do, you can trim them off, but I personally would leave it there. So so there you go. So that that's what you've got with that one. So it's a nice little effect, isn't it? I think it is anyway. Um, and like I say, there's so much to do, all these different patterns and the flowers and just lots of different colour. Get your paints out. It's, you could, it couldn't be easier than this, could it, really? So um, I hope you have a go. I hope you enjoy it. Um, I might just quickly just show you the next bit I would do because I bet you're all shouting there saying, clean up sheet. So let's see if we can get clean up from this stencil here. So, so what I would do to get this is I would just get my water spray out. Give my card a little spray like that. Give the stencil a little spray. And put the two together and see what we get. And there you go. Two for the price of one again with me. We always get two for the price of one. So there's the secondary and there's the first. So nothing's wasted. The paints aren't wasted. The, the paste isn't wasted. And then you can just finish that and mount it onto onto card, put sentiment on, you've got the card. So I hope you like that. hope you enjoyed the uh, demo and I hope you'll have a little go at it yourself. Get some of them paints out that you haven't used for ages and just get them used up. And then you've got a stack of cards to give to people as well, haven't you? So um, thank you for watching. Um, it'd be nice if you go and visit Barbara Gray's blog. It's uh, barbaragrayblog.com. She, she blogs every day and, you know, she puts full effort into a blog. She wants to keep everyone in, in the loop. She wants to give them, give you all um, demonstrations. You know, there's a lot goes on on that blog and it's, it's a really interesting blog to read anyway. So um, if you want any of the products, um, there'll be a link down below um, and there'll be um, on some of the products, there will be a 20% discount. So it's worth having a look down there to, at the links to see what's on, on the 20% discount. Uh, if you want to buy and all of the products uh, that I've used will be listed um, below by Simon um, and there'll be links to them as well so it makes it easy for you to go and have a look so thank you for watching and I hope to see you again soon bye